So heaven is like a wordless communication of total communion and it's described in the Course as, as a song and it's described in the, in the pamphlet Song of Prayer and it's also it's described in the Course as the Forgotten Song. So not only is it heaven a song, but it's forgotten, it's been pushed out of awareness. And so, awakening may be described as remembering to laugh at the ego, but it's also remembering to sing, uh, like the birds sing all day long. They're just so happy, they sing, 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 and that song is like a song of remembering. Even in the story of Siddhartha, you know, when Siddhartha finally feels he must leave the palace, the palace of comforts, the palace of conveniences, the palace of a future where he's supposed to be the future king, and all of the concepts, what lures him out of the palace is a song. Again, it's the song. There's some kind of song that's drawing him to leave everything that he's familiar with, to go outside the palace walls and to seek for enlightenment. So that's something that I think during these days of silence, we could say is it's getting in touch with your heart song. So hopefully these days of silence have kind of set you on a direction where you've given yourself permission to move in a very lovely direction, not really knowing specifically uh, how that direction will unfold. And that's beautiful too, because you don't need to know. I think that was the most fun I had was, it was like when I just had that moment where I said, Jesus, take my mind, my heart, take everything that I seem to know or have in this world and I give it all to you because you are in charge and you know the best way to use all of that but I will not claim any kind of identity or ownership with anything anymore. Ah, oh, it was like the, the weights of, came off the shoulders immediately and I think sometimes Christians call that like a conversion experience where they give their life over to Jesus Christ however they feel or experience that there's kind of a, a a weight that lifts off the shoulders like okay I don't I don't have to figure this out anymore even though all my conditioning is said plan plan for the future be wise be kind of be good in preparing for the future this presence is saying no just trust me and I will unfold everything perfectly for you without effort and that you can trust in. And so it, it, it takes a bit of time, it seems, to relax into that and allow for that to happen. But then the miracles start coming and they start showing you things are perfectly taken care of and you didn't do anything to make that happen. You just said yes somewhere in your heart. You just desired it and, and everything trickles, just like rain falling down. You don't control the rain, you just sing in the rain. <laughs> Hopefully you, you're starting to feel this glimmer of an inspiration, like a lightness in your heart, like, oh yeah, I can do this, I got this. There's nothing really to be so concerned about. 